Good afternoon. This, today what we're going to do is show you a couple of uh, basic checks and procedures to go through TPS auto set in a Holly EFI, uh, verifying static timing check, as well as how to adjust the idle correctly. So if you come look at the computer here, when we're going to do a TPS auto set, we'll select this menu, which is our sync menu, and the drop down list will have TPS auto set. So when we hit this, you come down, this menu will say to make sure that the ignition's on and the engine isn't started, and then click start when you're ready. And what we'll do is we'll just depress the throttle two times wide open. So if we look down here, you're gonna see that it says needs cal. So I'm gonna just select done and we'll come back down there and we'll take a look and you'll see it's at zero. Anytime you see that TPS over zero percent, if you've made any throttle blade adjustment, you must do a TPS auto set. All right, so now we're on to the static timing check. We really want everybody to check the timing on their engine. It's important that we select a menu in the, uh, the Holly system and then can go out and verify it at the engine. So we'll come up and take a look at this. The same drop down menu, sync menu, you'll see enable static timing check. And the window that pops up, we can select any value that we want. We select 30 degrees. So when we hit this, when the engine's running, we'll hit set, and that is gonna set the engine at 30. So now we can go out to the balancer, point the timing light at it, and verify that it in fact reads 30 degrees. The other part of that is to also still rev it up to make sure it doesn't uh, increase in timing or decrease in timing. Okay, before we get into uh, doing the idle speed adjustment, I, I just wanna point out that when you're doing the static timing check, if the balancer or the timing light doesn't agree with what the, the ECU has been programmed for, then we're gonna go out, in, uh, go out and adjust the distributor in the same manner we would with a carbureted application. We're gonna turn the distributor one way or the other to get it to match at that 30 degrees or whatever timing that you have locked it out to be. Now on the idle speed adjustment, generally most of the engines that we send out, we're going to send them out at 1000 RPM. So you generally have a quick, easy, good startup, good idle quality, but there is the possibility you want to lower that idle. Well, how we're going to do that and how we suggest to do it is we're going to start at the ECU. Instead of going directly out to the throttle body and adjusting it, we'll go into our idle parameters and we'll go into the idle speed and we will select the area that we want to drop it down. So say that the engine is warmed up here and we want to reduce this to 800 RPM, we'll first do it on the ECU or the laptop here. Now what's important is, is when we've dropped that RPM, we want to come over to this screen over here and we're going to look at uh, what our idle air control is. And so the IAC position usually say if it's 10 to 15%, it's going to start to close to bring the idle RPM down. So let's just say that we commanded 800, the motor is only, uh, it's idling at 900, and our IAC position is zero. At this point in time, that's when we need to go out and adjust the throttle body and close the throttle position. And we'll want to close it till we meet 800 RPM and we have an IAC position of roughly 10 to 15%. Now, once that's done, we'll shut the engine off, and even though the TPS is reading zero, we will have to recalibrate that. So we'll, we'll go through that uh, process again as we explained earlier.